Regional banking mania has consumed the financial media for weeks, but a story slipped through the cracks. JP Morgan noted a large block seller dumping shares of Charles Schwab on the 9th of March. Now Schwab, a stock that we rate at 6 out of 10, tumbled almost 13% that day and fell as much as 41% before it bottomed. Financial pros started actively researching this ticker, as search volumes exceeded anything Schwab had seen in the last year, according to Trackstar, a proprietary sentiment indicator. And with shares down nearly 30%, is Schwab a buy? Now Schwab offers an array of financial products and services, including banking, asset management, securities brokerage, and financial advisory. And like a bank, Schwab invests its excess cash, which is why some analysts are worried. However, the majority of deposits are held in segregated customer accounts and not leveraged against long-term debt, and the FDIC covers over 80% of Schwab's deposits, far more than any bank. So a run on Schwab isn't likely. In fact, new core assets rose by $16.5 billion between the 10th and the 16th of March. Now Schwab bought TD Ameritrade in 2020 for $22 billion and plans to finish its integration this year. Revenues exploded in 2021 as a TD Ameritrade deal closed. Whilst revenue growth declined in 2022, Schwab retained customers through its strong brand equity. Now Schwab isn't expensive, but it's not cheap either. Its trailing and forward PE ratio is coming around 15, below its 5-year average of 20, but we wouldn't call that a deal with a price-to-cash-flow ratio of 48. Schwab's profitability blows away its competitors and it only lags in return on equity and assets. However, we see better risk rewards in the banks. Schwab's sell-off has pushed it below fair value. However, the possibility of earnings erosion makes it less attractive than banks, which are down 30% or more themselves 